What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and Next Level Workshops. And today I'm gonna to show you my workflow for when I tether on location with the iPad. As photographers, we're always looking for the best way to get our jobs done and the easiest way to do that. So when I'm shooting out on location, a lot of times I don't want to bring a lot of extra gear. So lately I've been shooting location portraits, uh, tethering into the iPad with Capture One. So I want to just show you my workflow for that and just what I think is the easiest way and probably the most reliable way to get the photos from the iPad to then to the computer to where you can finish up and finalize your edits. So, First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our computer because there's a couple things we need to do just kind of on the pre-production side before we even go to the shoot. And that's gonna be, um, we're gonna open up Capture One and we're gonna start a new session. And let's just call this iPad test. And one thing that's important with this is I wanna save this to an external drive because that drive is then going to be plugged in and that's how I'm gonna transfer my photos over from the iPad. So I've got it set to volume to ready light. That's just my little one terabyte external drive. So let's go ahead and save that. So from here, we can leave this. We don't need to do anything. So now it's time to go shoot. We're gonna go out on location. We're gonna get some shots. So let's bring in the iPad here and we'll pretend like I just got done shooting, but I shot this earlier. Um, so with this, you can see that I've got, uh, I've got some five star selection. So if we go here, we can see that, um, you know, she had, she had made a few selections. And one thing that uh, when I first started using the iPad to tether, I would just like drag over the raw files, but then all of my star ratings, any color ratings, anything like that. And more importantly, the image profile that Capture One puts on here, which I think makes skin tones look really good, uh, wasn't there because it was just a, I uh, shoot Canon, so it was just a Canon raw file. So I'm gonna show you how to get these from the iPad to the computer with all that information in there. Uh, so it's pretty much as if you had brought your laptop with you, but it's a much smaller you know, workspace here. Once we finished up our shoot and your clients made your, their final selections, uh, it's time to transfer these photos over to the computer. And there's a couple ways you can do that. Uh, one being with the cloud transfer that Capture One uh, provides for you. Problem with that is it takes a while, it's gonna be relying on your internet connection. If you're out on location, you know, somewhere, you might not have a stable connection, so why run the risk of maybe some of those photos not ending up where they eventually need to be? Um, so I like doing everything through a physical hard drive. So I've unplugged the hard drive that was on my computer where I started that capture session before, and I've plugged it into my iPad here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go um, select, and select all. So I'm gonna transfer over all the files that we shot. I know this isn't a very you know large session, it was just a quick one, um, but I'm gonna transfer over all the files and I do this for every single shoot because my client might down the road say that she wants a, you know one of the files that she didn't mark as a five star. Um, so I'm gonna transfer over all of them and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna click export and you've got a few options here. You've got file name, custom name, if you wanna name it something different. In this case, I'll just keep the file name. Um, you've got JPEG, TIFF, Originals, and EIP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and click EIP, and the little uh, thing says, Capture One EIP files contain both your original file and the adjustments that are made with Capture One, which is really important because that includes not only uh, star ratings, color ratings, that also includes if you did any kind of pre-adjustments on the iPad, all of that information will be saved in this EIP file, which then will eventually show up on the computer. So let's go ahead and push export. And it'll just think for a moment. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say save to files, and that will come up. I'm gonna find my external drive. I'm going to find my iPad test, and I'm gonna save these to the capture folder as if I had tethered directly into my computer. So we'll say save, and it'll just take a minute. Um, you know, they're pretty large files because they're the raw files and then some, but with this, it was pretty quick, a lot quicker than if we had done a, a transfer from the, uh, you know, from, from over wireless. So let's go ahead and now we can 
exit out of here, I'm going to unplug this drive and I'm gonna plug it back into my computer. And once the drive shows up, we can go ahead and open up our capture session and all of these files, once we select capture folder, all of the files that we shot with star ratings and everything is now in Capture One as if we just tethered directly into our computer. So this is the way that I've found to be the best and the most reliable and quite frankly, the most convenient way to transfer uh, files from the iPad to the computer to finalize your edits. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media and go check out nextlevelworkshops.com. We've got a brand new photography community that is free for you photographers out there and you get a free lighting guide when you sign up. So go check that out and I'll see you next time.